Hi, welcome back to Whole Spawner Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, going to do an unboxing of a long awaited title from GMT Games and one of its founders, Gene Billingsley. This is Mr. President, the American Presidency 2001 to 2020. Again, game designed by Gene Billingsley, and this is a huge box. Looks all nice and and clean here, but then you roll it over and my gosh, it is thick, it is heavy, and it is chock full of some solitaire goodness because it is a solitaire only game. It's a single player only as we like to call them. And the gameplay is eight to 12 hours to complete this game. So um, let's, just, let's just dive in and see what you get. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. We knew this game was going to be huge, but we didn't know it was going to be huge. All right, let's get started here. First thing you get is a letter from the White House to my successor. Congratulations on your election and your inauguration. I hope you will find this job as fulfilling and rewarding as I did during my term in office. It won't be easy being POTUS. It's rightly called the world's most difficult job. It can seem overwhelming when you first sit down at the Resolute desk to help you start your administration. I have some suggestions and then some uh, a brief little guide into how to learn the game. You are now the president. With best of luck, your predecessor. Very nice touch. It's on a uh, linen finish there. And now we've got, this is nice, we have a turn sequence flip book, spiral bound. There's a lot of coolness in this one. So let's see what this is. This is going to guide you step by step, hail to the chief, and it's going to guide you through the turn sequence. So every turn you can go through this and it will guide you through. Begin turn, state of the union, not on turn one. United States uh, st SOE, State of the Economy, Impact. It's very thick. It's almost like cardstock uh, binding, or excuse me, uh, printed on, on cardstock, but it's bound. So instead of being reference sheets, many reference sheets, they took them all and they put them into a spiral binding. That's pretty cool. So this takes you through this 28 pages and it takes you through how to play the game. So that is a nice touch. Now we've got the how to play book. Very short, very small. It's only about what, eight pages here? Yeah. Yeah, four to eight. It's kind of floppy here. Yep, how to play the game. And this introduction, how to play, beginning turn sequence, so on and so forth. Here's how your board's going to be set up. You get the main board, main side board. It's going to take a lot of table space to play this one or a couple of small tables. So you have to be careful with that. But that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm glad to see that they have gone back to their matte finish paper, which is far superior to the glossy stuff they must have gotten on sale at uh, Big Lots or something because this is definitely uh, the way to go and what GMT is known for with quality. So we've got a how to play book, eight pages. Now we've got the governing manual. It's gonna teach you how to become president. So you play this, you win this, you run for office, you never know. So this one is also on the, it's 48 pages. It's also on a good stock. This one's just, you know, staple bound. And this is the governing manual. So this is kind of a guide, I guess, that's gonna take you through, uh, this is the components, the basic concepts, presidential, domestic, world arena, diplomatic arena, military arena, and guide you through uh, how you should kind of be thinking about how you're making decisions. You'll still make the decisions, but this will guide you a little more uh, through the process. So here's the component list. Auto loss, or the many ways of losing. There are 14 different ways of losing in Mr. President allowing a war between NATO and Russia, allowing a war between Japan and China may cause an auto loss. A victory for Russia is an auto loss for you. A victory for China is an auto loss for you. A level four rogue state on the board at the end of a turn leads to an auto loss. 
If you run out of rogue state counters, if you cannot place a rogue state counter on the map, you lose. Uh, WMDs, if the US tax a rogue state counter that has acquired a weapon of mass destruction, a roll of a natural unmodified 10 results in the rogue state using the WMD on US forces and infrastructure, causing you to lose the game. The Iran, Iran nuclear track, or nuclear track, can cause an auto loss if at level five, and Iran and Israel are at war. North Korea nuclear track. If a lingering domestic issue track in the Konis region reaches six, having more than five wars on the board at the same time, presidential performance evaluation end of turn score of 16 or less will cause an auto loss. Wow. Failure to be re-elected will cause auto loss in the 2001, 2009, 2017, and 2020 historical scenarios and a scandal that leads to your impeachment. Ooh. Hopefully it'll be a real impeachment, not a fake impeachment. All right, so here we go. And this is kind of like an alphabetical, uh, looks like, maybe? Actions, action points, draw crisis chits. Um, seems like it's alphabetical within the different uh, regions, I mean, the different topics that we discussed. Game in four years are completed. If playing the sandbox scenario, you must first seek re-election. So anyway, uh, there's a lot to read here. A lot to learn about how to run a government. Very, very nice, full color. Nicely printed, not too small print, not too large print. A lot of graphics were needed. So I'm liking that. All right. So to, yeah, cool, all right. And then we've got the domestic charts. Book D, book GM, I like how it's tied, you know, how it's uh, identified here. So they refer to the sections here as D1, D2, which means go to D, domestic chart book one. So the domestic chart book is 20 pages. And these are all the charts. Again, these, these would normally have been printed out on the great GMT reference cards, but now they're, they're put into a book format. So that's kind of cool. And this is about 20 pages. And again, it's really just charts, scandals, um, the past is prologue, domestic events, domestic terror, domestic crisis, chits, greater society initiative, congressional maneuvering and drama table. Very nice. So that's 20 pages. Then we've got the world charts. There's a lot of books here. Look at this. All right, so this is the world charts. We've got WCB, WD, WM, WT, WCT. Uh, so we've got WD's World Diplomatic, World Military. Uh, so WCB is the World Charts book, and then WD, it's further subdivided. World Military, World Terror, and World Combat. And again, these are charts for looking up various things that are going to affect your presidency. And that comes in at... 28 pages. Now the Ally and Rogue States book. We're still to a game board. So action group A, B, C, and D. And again, various charts for the different action groups. So action group three is Australia, Israel, India, and Rogue Nations. And UK, Japan, North Korea is two. U uh, the European Union, NATO, Republic of Korea, and Iran is one. And let's go ahead and figure out whatever four is here. Four is Canada, the Gulf States, South America, and Rogue. All right, so that is about 12 pages. Yeah, 12 pages on that one. World Peer Russia Acts, the WPR. This is a small book, again, 12 pages. And this is dealing with Russia, espionage, Improving Strategic Capabilities. So you got this book you're going to refer to. Wow. And, but wait, there's more. World Fear China Acts. Also 12 pages. And charts for dealing with China. Presidential Briefing. This is examples of play and designer notes. All right. So this one's about 16. Nope, 20 pages. And this is... Uh, examples of play through various things, and of course, notes from Gene Billingsley. Uh, this is where you can win. This is where you can lose. 
two worlds of Mr. President, but you can't ignore either. You have to pay attention to both. You gotta go for the win without losing. You can't focus on losing without winning. So, Golden Rule 1, the world arena is where you can lose, but the domestic arena is where you can win, especially in the sandbox scenario. The second rule is, if playing the core sandbox scenario, carefully read and study the end of turn consequences in the turn sequence flipbook. And the third rule is the Golden Rule Golden rule number three, know your capabilities. Carefully study the four your four master actions play aids so you know just what you can do domestically, diplomatically, militarily, and presidentially. And there's some guides there as to the different tokens and the tracks. Counter manifest. Now the scenario book is a little thicker. It's the last book, I hope, or I think, 36 pages. And these are the scenarios, and it looks like we have we have six designated scenarios. So there's all scenarios here. For all scenarios, you have these setup steps, and then the different scenarios: uh, 2001 to 2004, 2005 to 2008, 2008 to 2012, 2013 to 16, 2017 to 20. And scenario six is 2020. And it describes what happens and what you do and the winning conditions. So scenario one, 2001, 2004, your homeland security track must be seven. If it's a seven, you get two points. This is your scoring condition, excuse me, not what you must do and how you get your points. Quote from George W. Bush, I can hear you, the rest of the world can hear you and all the people who knocked down all of these buildings will help all of us soon. So it's nice that they included a quote from the historical president of the, of the scenario era. So let's see, 2013 to 16, that would be Barack Obama. I don't see a quote from him though. Hmm. Oh, maybe they get one for his first term. Let's go look and see there. There we go. We proved that we are still a people capable of doing big things and tackling our biggest challenges, President Obama. Very nice. So it's nice that there's various scenarios and things that you got to do. Scenario five, for Americans, nothing is impossible. President Trump. Very cool. All right, so that's the scenario book, 36 pages. Six designated scenarios. All right, now we got our counters and our markers. Looks like we got five sheets of counters. Take those out here. All right, so there is the first page of markers. These are pre-rounded. You don't have to like cut them apart or do anything weird. Very nice bright colors, nice palette. Very neat, get these here. So there's sheet one, sheet two. I have chits and obviously influence markers. You can see here. Uh, looks like we've got media counters here. Got moderates, radicals, uh, different congressional leaders. Ooh, Kim Richards. She was in uh, uh, the Witch Mountain movies and uh, um, oh, the Whiz Kid on Disney. Hey, Alvin, you should know a lot of big words. I gotta use big words, Dad, if I'm gonna win that contest. Back in the back in the day. And then she ended up being on one of them housewife shows, but I don't care about that. Pretty cool. Alright, counter sheet three. Scandals. Scandal for the president, scandal for the vice president, chief of staff, secretary of defense, secretary of state. Ooh. I like that it appears to be uh, nonpartisan. I do appreciate that. In a, in a time where we're all real divided, it's nice that uh, hopefully they came out with a game. I mean, you know, obviously I haven't read the rules or anything yet, but hopefully they came out a game that everybody, both sides of the aisle, can enjoy and play and, you know, and just do their own thing. Various bills that will go. Tension, tr tensions, oh, tension markers. You got here plus one, plus two, no effect. So you can draw randomly. So it's sheet four and sheet five. Ooh, civil war. 
That's not good. That's never good. All right. So a lot of, uh, there seem to be some groups of markers that are probably for draw cups and then just other trackers that you, tracking markers. Cool, cool, cool. Action points, plus 10, plus 20. Get a lot of action points, gonna do a lot of stuff. Very nice. So it's five sheets of counters. And we're not even halfway through the box yet. All right, let's do another one. Now we've got some uh, of those great GMT cardstock reference cards. Domestic master actions. Attempt to stimulate the economy. Address a domestic crisis. Address a lingering domestic issue. Improve relations with Congress. This is the one, these are the sheets that it said you needed to, to always pay attention to to see what you can do to win the game. So there's domestic presidential master actions. Military master actions. Only the POTUS and Secretary of Defense can use these actions during the designated segments. Diplomatic Master Actions. So those are your four that said you could do. Diplomatic, Domestic, Presidential, and Military. So you get four reference cards for that. Now we got some boards. So here's one board. Look at that in a minute. It's interesting, and I don't care, but it's interesting. Normally, GMT ships their boards, you know, in a plastic bag, but these are, I guess, sturdy enough. They're not their same. Oh, wait, you know what? That's the board. This came with it. So we've got these two sideboards you got to play with as well. So we've got a terror, terror group holding area, multilateral sanctions, UN goodwill markers, military footprint, unilateral sanctions. All right. So you got, you got to put markers here, and then you've got this sideboard here. It's got the various wars, so you can't have a sixth war or you lose. And these are just the uh, tracking tracking charts for the four, five different wars that could be going on at any given time. So these are going to be on the side of the board together. Now we get to the board, and they are slightly different. They're, it's a very nice finish. Um, than the usual GMT boards, which are really nice to begin with. Don't get me wrong. It's just these are, uh, it's just a different feel. It's pretty cool. So we'll open that and take a look at that in a second. And then we've got the other board here, which is much bigger, multi-panel. Looks like uh, eight panels. So that's the big GMT standard size board. This one's a four panel board. So you can put them together side by side. We'll open those and take a look. And then we've got three decks of cards. We've got, let's see, Mr. President card, Mr. President. These are all the different things you're gonna draw and play through. And then we've got two dice. And then we've got a red 10-sided die and a blue six-sided die. So red has the advantage here. Let's see who wins. Red wins seven to four. I'm sure that's not how that works, obviously. So let's take a look at some of these cards. So there are 180 cards, uh, one through 60. I think I'm right, yeah, one through 60. 61 through 120. And we got here, we got 121 through 180. So we're just gonna open one of the decks just to kind of get a look. We don't need to go through them all, but so like this is an event card. New NAFTA negotiations bring opportunity controversy. You may choose to spend two action points each on Canada and Mexico aimed at improving and rebalancing NAFTA. Consequences of your decisions. Canada, if you spend two APs, either improve relationships, relations with Canada allied by one level or place an economy improving counter on the U.S. SOE track. If you choose not to spend the two action points, decrease your relations with the Canada allied by one level. Mexico, if you spend the two APs, place a trending pro-U.S. counter on Central America if you do not plus one regional crisis in Central America. Actions controversial, regardless of your choice, roll a d10, that's the red die there, and one to four, plus two public approval, five to eight, minus two public approval, nine plus, minus one public approval, minus one RWC. So that's how that's gonna play out. So I don't wanna spoil too many of these because I wanna, I don't wanna spoil them for me, I don't wanna spoil them for you. We'll look at uh, one more. 
that seems to be pretty evident no matter what side of the aisle you're on, and it's called bureaucratic incompetence. Interagency and interpersonal issues are hampering your effectiveness. Place attention. <laughs> it's got the guy with the bozo nose on it. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see. Um, <clears throat> place one tensions counter on the POTUS cabinet focus, six to one, then roll a d10 for further consequences. Unless you have the team builder attribute, immediately lose two action points. Uh, spat with congressional leaders, minus one relations with Congress, party misunderstandings, minus one party relations. The public laments your ineffectiveness, minus two public approval. Uh, the chief of staff resigns in frustration, minus one cabinet effectiveness, draw three new chief of staff candidates and replace your current chief of staff with one of these. So that's just an example of some of the event cards here. And, I've, and these are all uh, exceptional White House resources and this cascading events. So they're all sorted, but that's what you guys, 180 cards. And now let's take a look at those uh, boards. This is the smaller side board. I think this is the world, uh, the world board, they call it because we've got all the stuff that's dealing with the, the, uh, the different countries. Um, I do not have my table set up yet where I can put them both side by side. I've got to, I've got to clear out some space here. But uh, it's very nice, very smooth, kind of a matte finish. It's not very shiny. Um, the various countries that you're dealing with, obviously they've got a 1 through a 10 on here, so you may roll to determine randomly a, a, uh, a country that you're working with. And then the strategic capabilities also have a die roll to select those. You got your bipartisan cooperation, your pending bills, past legislation, unused bills, media relations, homeland, homeland security, the UN world opinion of the US, relations with Congress is bi from bipartisan to adversarial. And then your crisis deck, your reshuffle pile, your two deck, and your three deck. And your nuclear missile tracks. So that's the first board. I take it back. That one was probably the first board was probably the domestic board because this one also has the world locations on it and seems to be more focused on world events. So exceptional White House resources, your different attributes, your key cabinet officials, um, lingering domestic issues track. POTUS cabinet focus, your drama table, cabinet infighting goes public. Naughty, naughty. Scandal track, cabinet effectiveness, your turn sequence, guide you right there on the board, then you can refer to that flip book. Prestige track, public approval, legacy points, and then again your various uh, regions and countries that you will be interacting with. CONUS Euro, Central America, Middle East, South America, Africa, and then Asia Pacific. Good Republic of China, Russian Federation. Ooh, I feel like I'm getting into a Tom Clancy book. Now this is a, this is a four panels wide by two panels tall and the previous one was two by two so all right so let's go through and recap everything you get in the box for mr president all right so if you pick up a copy of mr president and i suggest you do if you're into solo play at all or historical simulations or whatever and that's before i've played it obviously but uh this is going to be a hot hot ticket it's gonna sell out pretty quick so you might want to go and grab a copy you're gonna get those two dice you're gonna get 180 cards in the mr. president deck you're gonna get that that main main game board and the uh, world game board that we took a look at and you're going to get the two sideboard charts you're gonna get your four master actions charts to kind of guide you as to what you can do five sheets of pre-rounded counters. No room to organize those in this. You're gonna get these, all these various books. You're gonna get the 36-page uh, scenario book, the 20-page, I believe. Let's see, yeah, 20-page uh, 
uh, examples of play in designer notes book the the china and russia acts books coming at 12 pages each the ally and rogue states book the world charts book the domestic charts book the governing manual how to become a president the how to play manual and the really awesome thick cardstock spiral bound turn sequence flip book along with a nice nice letter from your predecessor to to encourage you on the way and that is everything that comes in mr president the american presidency 2001 to 2020 from gmt games designed by gene billingsley thank you so much for watching god bless you bye-bye and i like pie you like pie too Oh!